In this tutorial, we will use Orin Nano with Jetpack version 6.0 and YOLO V9 to do object detection. We will use PyTorch in Tensor RT with a real sense depth camera. Nowadays, every autonomous robot has an object detection feature. So using the newest object detection method should be useful for further improvement of robot capabilities. Let's take a brief look at new features of YOLO V9. In YOLO V9, two new methods are introduced to effectively address issues related to information loss and computational efficiency. The first method is programmable gradient information. Three modifications were made. The first modification was made in the main branch. The main branch is optimized for inference ensuring simplicity of the model. It is designed to bypass auxiliary components during inference to reduce computational overhead. Secondly, auxiliary reversible branch structure was introduced. This structure ensures generation of reliable gradients and facilitates precise parameter updates. It overcomes inherent information loss in deep network layers and enables preservation and utilization of complete data for learning. The third method is multi-level auxiliary information flow. This method combines gradient information throughout the model's layers to cope with the problem of losing information in deep supervision models. This technique helps to make better predictions for objects of different sizes. The second method is called Generalized Efficient Layer Aggregation Network. Dillon enhances the model's ability to process and learn from data more effectively. It combines the best features of CSP-NET's gradient path planning with Elon's inference speed optimizations. In Gellin, two modules are used to enhance the model's ability to efficiently process and learn data. The first is SBP Elon module. SPP stands for Spatial Pyramid Pooling. It starts with a convolutional layer, followed by series of spatial pooling operations to capture multi-scale contextual information. The outputs are concatenated and passed through another convolutional layer to consolidate the features. The second is the REP NCSP ELUN4 module. This component splits the input from the initial convolutional layer into two paths, processes each through a series of rep and CSP and convolutional layers, and then merges them back. This dual path strategy facilitates efficient gradient flow and feature reuse, significantly enhancing the model's learning efficiency and inference speed. Now let's begin with installing required libraries to run YOLO V9. First, we are going to install an internet browser. There is no internet browser installed by default, but we will need one to access various web pages. So, we are going to install Firefox. Firefox can be installed using Snap. Snap is a software packaging and deployment system for Linux operating system. Now, we are going to install PyTorch. Instructions for installing PyTorch are written in this page. Scroll down to the prerequisites and installation section. Basically, we have to execute these commands. Update package list using this command. Next, we are going to install Python 3 pip and libopenblast. This command is missing an install statement, so add it. Openblast is an open source implementation of the basic linear algebra subprograms with many handcrafted optimizations for specific processor types. The example below is written for Jetpack version 5. But, since we have Jetpack 6, we have to find a suitable PyTorch version. Copy this part and open in a new tab. Move to v60dp, and then move to PyTorch. 
In this tutorial we will use this version, so download it. The download will take some time. After the download is complete, go back to the installation page. Copy this part and execute it. This command will upgrade pip to the newest version. Next, install NumPy. We don't need these apostrophes, so remove them. We have successfully installed NumPy. The error displayed in the terminal doesn't matter, so we will leave it as it is. Move to the downloads folder and install PyTorch using the wheel file we previously have downloaded. Let's check our installation. Open Python command line in terminal. Import PyTorch. By executing CUDA is available we can check whether we are able to use GPU. Now we are going to install Torch Vision. Move to this page. Open the instruction section. To install Torch Vision, we have to execute these commands. Copy and execute this line. Here, we are installing all required libraries. Next, we have to install Torch Vision version suitable for our PyTorch version. Here we have a correspondence table of PyTorch and Torch Vision. We have installed PyTorch 2.2, but it is not here yet. Torch Vision 0.17.0 exists in GitHub repository, so we will install version 0.17.0. Copy this line and execute it in the terminal. Note that we have to replace the version strings to actual version number we are going to install. There is a possibility that while cloning the repository, this error occurs. The solution for this error is written in this page. We have to set three environmental variables related to Git. Also, it is recommended to use wired connection instead of Wi-Fi. Now let's try to clone the repository once again. This time we have cloned it successfully. Move to the Torch Vision directory. In this line we also have to specify Torch Vision version we are going to install. By executing this command, Torch Vision build will begin. We have successfully installed Torch Vision. Now we are almost ready to execute YOLO. Go to this page and clone the repository. We have to install all required libraries. Move to YOLO v9 folder and open the requirements text file. All required libraries can be installed at once using this file. But to avoid Arch architecture specific libraries we have already installed being overwritten, we need to modify this file. Delete NumPy, OpenCV, PyTorch and Torch Vision from the list. Execute this file using pip. Go to YOLO v9 GitHub page and download weights. 
In this tutorial we will use YOLO V9E file. Move downloaded weights to YOLO V9 directory. Now execute the DetectPy script. We have an error. This error might be fixed in the future, but for now open DetectPy script and modify line 98. The results will be generated under Runs directory. As we can see, we have successfully executed YOLO. To execute YOLO v9 using TensorRT, we have to install several libraries. Install ONNX. ONNX is an intermediary machine learning framework used to convert between different machine learning frameworks. Install ONNX Simplifier. This library is used to make operations with ONNX more simple. For YOLO v9 Tensor RT deployment we will use this repository. Clone this repository. Copy this line. Move to YOLO v9 folder and execute the export PI script. Note that we have to modify the weights file name, change Python to Python 3 and add a device argument to make it use GPU. An ONNX file will be exported. Copy created ONNX file to configs directory which located inside of YOLO v9 tensor RT directory. Open the YOLO v9 yum file. Modify this file according to the ONNX file name we have moved and the name we want to give to engine file that will be generated. Open a new terminal. Create a build folder. Execute the cmake command. Execute the make command. We have an error. A similar issue is discussed on this page. So, we have to execute the cmake command with these options. We have successfully built our project. Before going to the next step, install PyCuda. PyCuda provides Cython and Python wrappers for CUDA driver and runtime APIs. Check if OpenCV Python headless is installed. If it is installed, uninstall it since it will cause problems in the program we are going to run. Move to the configs folder and open the YOLO v9 pyum file. Change ONNX file and engine file names to those we will use. Open the YOLO v9 trt file. We have to modify host outputs and CUDA outputs array indices. This modification is required probably because our engine file is generated using ORN Nano GPU instead of usual GPU for desktop computer. Now execute the YOLO v9 TRT PI script. When executed for the first time, engine file will be generated, so it may take up to several tens of minutes. We have successfully executed inference using TensorRT. Now we are going to install LibRealSense. Go to this page. Clone this repository.
move to the install librealsense directory. Before executing the build librealsense shell script, we need to do one modification to avoid error during building process. Go to the install realsense folder. Open the build librealsense shell script. At line 135, add this argument. This argument helps compiler find where Python executable is located. Now execute the build lib real sense shell script. Note that memory amount is increased in the Orin Nano, so we can set the jobs argument to 2 to accelerate building process. Even though it is written that the library has been installed in the user local lib directory, actually it is installed here. This problem is explained in this issue. But it seems there is no solution at this moment. So, move to the home directory. Open the bash rc file. Move to the bottom of this file. In this line, change lib to off. Open a new terminal. Execute the source commands to execute changes we made to the bash rc file. Now we can import the PyRealSense2 library successfully. Now let's see the code. Please download the YOLO v9 tensor rtzip file from the Google Drive and extract it to your home directory. Open the YOLO v9 trtrs pi script. This code is almost the same as the YOLO v9 trt pi script, so I will explain RealSense related modifications. Here, Image size, format and frame rate are defined. Pipeline start means that we start pipeline streaming with configuration we set in the above line. The alignment utility performs per pixel geometric transformation based on the depth data. Here we get aligned frames from RGB and depth camera. In these lines, obtained frames are converted to a NumPy array. Here, inference is done. To execute the code, open a new terminal and run the YOLO v9 trtrspy script. 